another open and another hit, son. Just read the New York Times review online. Congratulations, son. I can't wait to see it. This cruise comes back from Mallorca in a week, and I'm flying straight to the city. I need two orchestras. Oh, I love you, son. Congrats again. Happy opening night. I guess you're still out celebrating. He used to tell me he thought you'd never get a play produced, <sighs> let alone on Broadway. Yeah. Look at you now. Yeah. Well, it just goes to show you. Mm. If you live for the thing you love, yeah. if you live for the thing that makes your heart beat wild, yeah. if you surround yourself with goodness and faith in the world and... Mark. Mark? Mark? I need you to copy these and bring in a cup of coffee for this guy in my office. It'd be nice if you'd look alive. This is the biggest recruit I've ever met with in my life. He's demanded a thousand things I, I can't deliver. And he's the meanest SOB you can imagine. A, a bigot, racist, liar, a misogynist. But he's the best. And we need him. I'll bring in the coffee. We have no chance, but I gotta try. Better than jumping out the window, maybe. It's been said that the life of a playwright is tough. Well, the life of a failed son is even worse. But the life of a failed son who's also a playwright is downright unlivable. My poor father. I used to think I'd someday bail him out of the business world with the success of my plays. Now I try not to think about it. When I have dreams like today, the fantasy still sneaks up on me. It feels so real, so detailed and nuanced and wonderful that I often say while I'm still dreaming that this must not be a dream but reality. Of course, I soon wake up and find it's not. Then I look around at my life and it's such a dreary flop, so rife with torment and humiliation that I think, this is so bad, it can't be reality. It must be a nightmare. And of course, it's not. To make things worse, business here is down. You see, what my father does is a bit like casting in the theater. He needs to hire talented players, only these players sit at desks and their talent, hopefully, is to sell insurance. If the cast or agency brings in enough business to hit the annual quota, the mother company keeps funding us. Right now, we're not even at 30% of our quota. And it's September. This recruit here could save us. But if he doesn't sign on, it's probably the end of my father's career and my job. I've now worked here 17 years. We really need this guy. Maybe he's not that bad. I don't mind asking, because it's important. How many Jews you got working here? Uh, well, uh, we, we have... I don't like a lot of Jews. I can't believe you really just said that. I, I can't believe it. I don't know why I even took this meeting. Uh, how did this happen? We're doing a bit of a recruiting push. I hired a headhunter, and she called Hugh over at American Mutual and offered a meeting. You want me to leave a four-star company and come work in this place? You better tell me you got one big tit signing bonus and a corner office on the table, or I'm walking right out of here laughing. Uh, we like to admit right off in our recruiting that we're not a giant firm, and in some ways we, we can't match what the major companies can do. But what we do offer is a family culture, a place where you know you have trust, support, and familiarity that you'd like to count on to, to grow your business. I want a hundred grand up front and a full-time phone solicitor who sounds just as sexy as she looks, which is Asian or Russian with a nice tight ass. Who's this guy? Looks like a gym teacher. Where's your secretary? Don't you have one? Uh, that's my son, Mark. What's he do? Uh, Mark's our receptionist. Receptionist? Ha! <laughs> Jesus Christ, our receptionist is a babe. Smoking hot Latina fresh out of Catherine Gibbs making everyone's dick hard. You gotta be kidding me, old man. <laughs> A hundred grand. My father can't even afford new shoes. We split bagels for breakfast. So that's it. 
We're going out of business. He's on the street and so am I. It's finally happening and I can do nothing to stop it. I'm sorry, Father. I have proved a useless, pathetic issue. Pointless little Hamlet at the front desk. Well, there's an idea. There's something I can do for him. I could my quietus make. Bring the curtain down and fade to black. Jump out a window and die. Next week, I need a few days. <laughs>